Hey guys, Mega Monkeys here, and today I'm playing Blacklight Tango Down. I downloaded the demo on Xbox Live, and uh, so I've been playing it a little bit. And uh, if you don't know, Blacklight Tango Down is a uh, online only Xbox Live arcade game, and uh, that might be surprising to many of you that a game that looks like this is on Xbox Live Arcade. And uh, I have to say, for being an Xbox Live Arcade game, it's quite impressive. Like, what I played on Xbox Live is, uh, like, Trials, and while well, Trials is an awesome game, it's, uh, this is a technically quite an advanced game, I think, for uh, Xbox Live Arcade. And uh, so here, this is my second game playing, so uh, <laughs> don't ex expect too much, and uh, here I noob, noob it up a bit, because I don't know where to plant the canister, I guess they call it. Uh, it's like a capture the flag game type. They have uh, a fair number of game types, actually. Uh, I played, first round I played deathmatch, like free for all, and I got owned pretty hard, but then I tried this capture the flight game type and I actually did pretty well. Uh, and here, uh, you see there, I didn't get killed by a person, I got killed by some sort of turret, which uh, confused me a little bit, I think, but I'm not sure that's to prevent uh, like spawn camping, because uh, they're usually close to the uh, enemy spawn, and so... Uh, I guess that keeps people out. And you'll see me trying to shoot my teammate. And uh, I was really confused, maybe because I'm not the brightest person, but uh, when I see like red above someone's name, since I usually play Call of Duty, uh, red means bad, <laughs> blue means good. But I guess I was on the uh, bad guys team uh, this time, so. I was trying to get the blue canister and kill the blue guys. Um, and there's the turrets again. And so, like I was saying, this is Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, it's 1200 Microsoft points, which is $15. And, um, I don't know, it, it's hard to say if it'll be uh, worth your money if, uh, like, a, my guess would it be, would be that if you don't, uh, it wouldn't take your time away from Call of Duty or whatever you normally play. But given it's $15, uh, and it's just fun to pick up and play, uh, if you have friends that play it, then I think it would be worth it. Personally, I don't think I'm going to buy it, because I'm saving up for lots of other good games coming out, like Call of Duty Black Ops and Halo Reach, maybe Medal of Honor. Um, but it is a good, very impressive for a downloadable game. And the thing that I would guess I'd compare it to is, uh, um, Battlefield 1943, because that's the other big shooter that I played on, uh, Xbox Live Arcade, and I think that this is better, so... I don't know, it's definitely worth a try if you want to download a demo. It's uh, 60 minutes of playtime, so, yeah. And those uh, 60 minutes don't include uh, time in menus or even when you're dead, so that's good. So, probably actually spend a fair bit of time playing. And um, this game, like, whether or not you like it, I think uh, maybe people who look for more polished experience uh, might not like it but it is actually very good and well done but uh, people who like I used to play PC games a lot and I played games like uh, War Rock and Combat Arms I didn't like Combat Arms as much but uh, like those free to play um, online only shooters like those kinds of games if you like those I think this will be your kind of game. It's not free to play, but it's uh, 
not a full retail game. Um, and if you're worried about like the design or anything, uh, the map design is actually pretty good. Uh, not that any of the maps I played were like, oh my god, this is great, but uh, there was one map that was pretty cool. It was like all on rooftops and you're jumping from building to building. It was pretty cool. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. There were lots of different levels and people shooting at you from above and below. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, one of my problems with the game, I've seen a bunch of games do this and I don't understand. When you uh, aim down sights in with your gun, the actual aim down sights isn't where you're aiming. Like if you see that, the reticle is like an inch above where it looks like you're aiming. So that's really confusing for me. Uh, like see there, and um, yeah, it's like get used to that. But uh, also with the reticle, it's uh, like an it's an expanding reticle. So when you're moving or shooting, it gets bigger. So either you kill someone really quickly or really slowly because once it gets big it's spraying everywhere and it's hard to kill people um... and this is kind of weird but I can't remember the last time I played a game that actually had a health bar and a stamina bar I used to playing Call of Duty and other games where uh... where you obviously have health and stamina and that kind of thing but it's sort of behind the scenes and you know I think I prefer that but uh, oh well uh, it's kinda nice to see what's going on also with the HUD and so I'm talking about that I don't understand like you see on the outer edges of uh, like the play screen there are these weird things I have no idea what they are it looks like they're supposed to be for um uh, like for if you're taking damage near a robot, but like an organic robot or something, I, I don't know, it's really weird. Uh, but when you have full health, it's still there. And also, uh, it's just a comment, but it, uh, seems like it's a simulation or something. I don't know, like the backstory, it's just a online game, you play, have fun. Uh, but it seems like it's a simulation. Like you see there, I just fizzled up and turned orange when I died. And uh, when you spawn, you see like your gun's invisible and then it appears. So, I don't know. And uh, this game type that I'm playing, like I said, is capture the canister. It's capture the flag. Um, but there are actually a fair number of different uh, game types. There's nothing that I saw that was... Uh, particularly unique um, like there's capture the flag, team deathmatch, deathmatch last man standing, last team standing which is like search and destroy with no objectives um, one that's like sabotage uh, and demolition um, but this one was my favorite I think even it's kinda weird though because uh, most first person shooters I don't really like capture the flag like in Halo and Call of Duty it's definitely not my favorite but that is Blacklight Tango Down and I would recommend it if you're looking for a new game on the cheap um, and just to try it out the demos free you get an hour of playtime, and I think it'll be worth it so thanks for lis listening guys